Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Asari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the dynamic uh, memory allocation in C. So, let me launch the IDE, which is Visual C++ Express Vision. So, already I have created a project under the name uh, Dynamic here, which contains a C file, uh, mlop.c. Okay. So, first, before going to uh, know about what is a dynamic memory allocation, so first let us see what is the drawback of uh, in the static uh, statically allocated uh, memory okay which is uh, a normal array so if you are taking a normal array like this int uh, let's say s array okay so this has a, a limitation okay so here is an array a one dimensional array of fixed size of 10 elements okay so if the user wants to uh, store something like this he has to take uh, for loop Okay, so you can uh, enter some elements by having a small message here. Okay, enter the element, percentage t, so all these messages are for just for understanding purpose here. Comma i plus 1. Okay, scanf percentage t and percent s array of. I, okay, so here just we have taken a uh, static array or else you can say a simple array of one dimensional and we have taken 10 elements. So by using the uh, help of a loop, uh, we are just printing, uh, scan some elements. So let's also uh, print some elements here, print those elements. I was that time. okay, I plus plus, print if, okay percentage D S array of I. Okay. So we just save and run the program. Oops, we got an error here. So what is there? Okay. The I is not undeclared. So let's save and run the program here. Uh, as soon as we run the program, so it starts the loop and asks us to enter uh, elements. Okay. So if we keep on entering so we are having some flexibility to enter until uh, 10 elements okay so those are the elements which you have entered let's have a small uh, clear screen so which is in visual studios like this we have a small message also so all these messages so are for uh, our understanding purpose they are not very essential. So again, uh, if you enter 10 elements, I have just saved and run the program. So 9 and 10, okay. So here, uh, there is a limitation here. So if you want, uh, so what if you want uh, for the next instance, if you are running the program, and again, if you want to enter, uh, for this instance, if you want to enter only 4 elements, okay. So you are not allowed to do, or you are allowed to do, but if you are not allowed to go beyond uh, uh, the the range which is fixed okay so here we have a fixed uh, size of uh, array elements so this is a, a drawback when there is a situation if you want to enter uh, uh, some 11 elements okay so you are not uh, you cannot enter 11th element into an unknown uh, location of an array so you can keep on entering uh, only up to 10 elements only okay so whatever the elements uh, might be so this is one of the uh, drawback of using a normal arrays like this okay so in order to overcome uh, this drawback we have uh, a simple uh, concept of uh, dynamic memory allocation which is achieved through three different functions okay so one is uh, mlloc cloc uh, both uh, sorry two functions mlloc and uh, cloc uh, and there is another function which is known as free uh, which is used to remove the allocated memory okay so first uh, in this lesson we are going to uh, see how uh, mlloc works here so in order to demonstrate the use of mlloc, uh, so first we, have, we need to take a pointer here. So we have a knowledge of pointers uh, and we have studied that the application of uh, one of the applications of pointers is to uh, use them, uh, use uh, in, this in dynamic memory allocation. Okay, so now let us take an array, uh, sorry pointer, let's call the pointer as uh, d array since we are uh, trying to uh, calculate a dynamically allocated array so first previous to that let's comment this code uh, this piece of code so you can do it uh, in this way and some comment selection okay so now first let us uh, 
fix uh, so what is what are, what is the size which we need okay so whether it's less than 10 or more than 10 whatever you want it so with the dynamic uh, uh, allocation uh, you get that freedom uh, to have how many number of uh, get the freedom to have uh, your uh, the size of array at the time of runtime okay so that's the reason we are telling it as uh, dynamically allocating memory in the runtime or you can can tell as runtime memory allocation okay so first let us uh, I know the size, what is the size it's going to be, enter the number of elements, let's have a small message here, so enter the number of uh, elements, okay, so let's have a scanner statement here, one second, let's have a scanner statement, percentage T, one percent, and okay, so here we have did uh, we have just scanning so we have taken a variable n here so and with the help of this uh, pointer which is d array we are going to allocate uh, some chunk of memory and use that uh, chunk of memory uh, as an array to store some elements and then print them okay so that is the main task here so first let us allocate uh, the memory using mlloc here so this the, the syntax of mlloc is going to be like this t array followed by casting to integer since we are uh, trying to allocate uh, memory uh, to integers here okay so block of integers so that is our aim so and then mlloc the name of the function n times size of integer okay so since we are taking here size of integers uh, using the size of function we know that size of integer is 4 bytes and in some systems in older systems it might be 2 bytes okay so to in order to overcome that problem we are explicitly using the making use of this function size up okay so wherever the program you run in whatever the platform so depending upon that uh, platform or compiler the compiler the programmer is using it automatically calculates the size and then n times that size uh, it calculates the uh, memory and allocates to our pointer here okay so this is the syntax of uh, mlloc function here okay so this let's have a comment here Locates a chunk of memory. Okay, so locates a chunk of memory. So here, uh, whatever uh, what you are doing is, if you enter some value into n, okay, so that value is getting uh, multiplied by the size of integer. So for example, if the user is entering some uh, twelve, okay, so integer. So if if he decides uh, his array should consist of twelve elements, then if he enters twelve. Then that 12 is gets calculated into the size of integer, which is 4 bytes, and total 48 bytes of memory is allocated and stored in this uh, pointer. Okay, so which, which in turn uh, can be used as an array. So let's see how we can do that. Let's take a for loop here again. So i is equal to zero. So now i less than n. Okay. So since we are uh, allocating the memory dynamically and we are uh, knowing the size, number of elements dynamically, so n times uh, we have to run the loop here. So again, can have uh, the same old uh, printf statement. What else we can take directly from here? The same uh, piece of code. I'm just copying and pasting here. Since as array, we have to, we need to change it as dir. Okay, and everything. The rest of things are same. Okay. So now, again to print, uh, let's take the same code here. The same piece of code once again. Okay, so now uh, we have allocated the memory using this analog function dynamically. So what what it means? Uh, understand better if you run the program. So now it's asking us to enter the number of elements. Okay, so previously it is not the case when we are uh, doing in the terms of fixed size array here. Okay, so if you observe here uh, in the first instance we have taken an array which is of size fixed of ten elements, and there we are directly uh, running the loop until ten elements. Okay. So if you want, you can restrict uh, less than 10 uh, to 5 or something like this, but you cannot go beyond uh, uh, this uh, limit here, okay. So that is not the case when you are allocating memory uh, dynamically here, okay. So here, we are just asking the user to provide some uh, value, uh, which, which would be considered as the size of an array uh, dynamically, okay. So that's the reason it's asking. So now, now if you say uh, 3, it's, uh, it asks us to, or it takes just only uh, three uh, integers, memory 
the memory which is sufficient for three integers is allocated okay using that mlloc function oops we have an error here okay the error is <laughs> by taking the second for loop we forget to have this number here okay so now again uh, three three elements okay so one more bug we didn't change the since we are using a, a, a pointer as t array so we didn't uh, change that uh, make we didn't make that change here so again i'm just running saying running the program so again if you run the program uh, if you take three elements it asks it allocates the memory which is sufficient for three elements here okay so now it just uh, takes those elements and store in that uh, array uh, which is a pointer in turn and just we are just displaying those contents here okay so to revise once again for the first instance we have taken an array which is a static array of fixed size 10 elements so there we don't get an opportunity to decide uh, the size of an array dynamically okay so there comes the situation when the programmer needs need not or uh, might not know what is the size uh, he need to uh, specify so in that case is uh, this dynamic memory allocation helps the programmer to allocate the memory at the runtime or or you can uh, you can give the size of that uh, array uh, runtime okay so whatever the size according to his uh, the whatever the size can be so you can enter as many as elements ac uh, according to his requirement so here in our program uh, we have achieved that using the uh, mlloc function here okay so mlloc function uh, which is which allocates which is used to allocate some memory of some bytes okay let's say if the user enters let's run the program once again stop debugging and run the program okay so now if the user wants to enter the some uh, say 11 elements okay so he, he is flexible to have uh, 11 number of elements uh, according to his convenience since there is no limit of uh, how many elements he can have okay so if you observe if we have uh, 11 elements here so entered elements they are just getting displayed okay so in that way uh, we can achieve uh, or we can allocate uh, arrays uh, dynamically using this mlloc function so which is the underlying concept of uh, dynamic memory allocation or runtime memory allocation okay so this is the uh, basics about uh, uh, dynamic memory allocation using mlloc function so see you in the next lesson goodbye